Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak from TheBitcoinPodcast.com here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. And today, I'm here to talk about transaction fees. Ugh. Here's my spiel on uh, transaction fees. You get what you pay for, especially when it comes to Bitcoin the oldest, most secure blockchain in cryptocurrencies. Now, you have alternative options like altcoins. Litecoin, for example, is a cheaper, faster way of sending money from peer-to-peer permissionlessly, just like Bitcoin. Except its blockchain isn't as secure or as tested. You know, it's it's not as old and the, the bounty on it isn't as high. So anyway, when it comes to the transaction fee for Bitcoin, you're getting what you pay for. And there are other options. The problem is, though, for people that have been using Bitcoin to escape their government fiat, like in Venezuela, Bitcoin's transaction fee now costs more than the small coffee they want to buy. So we're probably going to see people spending less Bitcoin, holding it longer, and using altcoins for daily money like Litecoin. Something that's pennies to the transaction, not dollars to the transaction. And, um, you know, maybe Bitcoin will become the settlement layer the fallback reserve currency where you cash out and you know store your value for longer periods of time and maybe you'll use bitcoin to buy your yacht or island and not your coffee nothing wrong with that especially when we have alternative options like litecoin and all these other altcoins that do offer and compete for the lower transaction fees the faster confirmations bitcoin doesn't have to compete with them for that Bitcoin doesn't have to be the cheapest transaction fee. Bitcoin doesn't have to be the fastest confirmation. Bitcoin has to be the most secure blockchain in cryptocurrencies. That's Bitcoin. And that's what you're paying for. Now, when it comes down to transaction fees, you get what you pay for. And that's the bottom line. Now, here's a little experiment I did to see which cryptocurrency would be worthwhile and save you some money when you want to send a little bit of crypto to your friends peer-to-peer style. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so for the sake of this video, I'm using the Coinbase wallet since it's about the most popular for most people that are new to Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general. And this now has three of the most popular cryptocurrencies. So we're going to use Coinbase. Um, If you wanted to use a wallet with adjustable fees, you can go ahead and use Jax or something. But I wanted to see what, you know, the static fees are right now for the top three cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to go ahead and use Coinbase. And we're going to send a couple bucks worth of each cryptocurrency and see what the fees are. So let's send some Bitcoin to this address. We'll send $5 worth of Bitcoin. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and send some Ethereum as well. $5 worth of Ethereum. My thumb never works with Coinbase. I'm going to have to edit this out. All right, and now we can go ahead and send some Litecoin. Send five bucks worth of each. Again, I'll have to edit this. All right, so we went ahead and sent five bucks worth of each. Let's go see what the fee was. As Dr. Corey Petty from the Bitcoin Podcast would say, the transaction fee is a payment to the people that secure the transactions. There is no such thing as a free system, and by paying a minor transaction fee, you've properly incentivized someone to make sure that everything works smoothly and securely. In time, the Bitcoin network will solely incentivize people to secure and validate the entire network through only transaction fees. Right now, they're only a part of the payment received from doing what they do, mining. Not much of a surprise here, Bitcoin being the most expensive to transact and the longest to hit confirmation. Ouch. Ethereum though, surprisingly cheap and surprisingly quick. Ethereum, congrats. 
The cheapest though, Litecoin. And surprisingly, the fastest, Litecoin. So, hands down, Litecoin's the winner. All right, well, there you have it. Now we know which cryptocurrency is the cheapest and the quickest at the moment. You can go ahead and take this information and do what you will with it. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the experiment. Um, don't forget, if you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button if you dislike this video for any reason go ahead and give it a thumbs down just please drop a comment below and let me know how i can turn that around in my next video don't forget to subscribe and flick the alert bell right next to subscribe so you get a notification every time i upload a video and you're not the last to know all right thank you and have a day not an expert